morning guys welcome to today's video yesterday you saw my first installment of a different style of vlogging i want to try and do it a couple more times before i decide if it's for us and how you guys are liking it so i'm going to try it again today my goal here is to share more of us like who we are and how we interact with one another and i know some of you guys much prefer me talking to you guys and i prefer that too but i want to have more of who we actually are in our videos and just see how it goes so bear with me for the next couple of days and we'll see how this pans out And today we have to clean this house because it is disgusting. Ever since we had the snake problem, I'm paranoid. But I want to I don't want to bring my barn shoes into the house because they're disgusting, but I'm terrified I'm going to put them on one day and there's going to be a snake in them. I always wear a purse down to the barn because a purse carries my phone and it also carries my camera, which is you guys. And a phone signifies safety if anything ever happens, which I learned recently that things can happen. Go do chores. Come on. Hopefully, golf hopefully Gabby meets us down there soon. I never had breakfast. Too bad. Chores before breakfast. Well, Dad or always likes to go up after I put the work. Yeah. Well, Dad's not tough like Mom. And we eat breakfast. Down no more breakfast before chores. We do chores, get it done, and then we eat breakfast. Gabby did learn that yesterday. Yesterday we did the same thing. So I learned a lot from my parents. I learned love and affection and caring. I grew up much like I think my kids do with a sense of entitlement and attitude. I learned how to tell if you're better than other people. I mean, the more money you have, the more things you have, the more you keep yourself clean, the more you do your hair, the more all of that stuff determines your worth. I learned a lot of amazing things from my parents and I learned a lot of attitudes that, that didn't really sit well with me. When I was young, I, oops, when I was young, I bought into all that and I, I did all that. I kept myself clean and fresh and I dressed in all the fashions and, and I acted my station in life. But as I got older and older, and as my parents got older, I always felt this feeling inside of myself that I wasn't exactly who I wanted to be. I think that happens to most people in life, is that when you grow up, you learn a lot of things, and then you learn a lot of things that you wish you hadn't. And that's when my whole life-changing transformation took place. Oh. No, let's wait till Gabby comes down and we'll make her dump it. Okay. That's what happens. The last one down gets to dump the... Dad. What? No one dumps this wheelbarrow until Gabby gets down. Because that, that mom says last one to get down gets to dump the wheelbarrow. Yeah, that's the new rule. Last one to the barn gets to dump the wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's always you, and you don't. Well, I will if I'm the last one down. You're always the last one down, and you know. I feel like I'm not always the last one down. Pretty sure what we got here is a breeding pit. 
because all we ever find are more and more and more of these beautiful little snakes. Look at them. They're so nice. Gabby, did you actually see more than one snake? I saw two. I saw two of them. They, one ran off. The other one stayed. So if there are two snakes, that means there are babies. They're breeding fish. Oh, that's, that's fabulous. I love the idea of having... They just go there and, and mate and then they leave. So then one day all those little babies are going to have to run out of there. Hey, that's not where they lay their eggs in. Oh. So the, oh. So our, our snakes go to a hole in the ground. That's what they do. And they breed. Oh, so they're and looking for they privacy. And they go lay eggs somewhere. Oh, all right. As long as they don't lay eggs anywhere near our breeding pit. Our house is a breeding pit. Basically, right around the time my mom died when I was 30, I realized I was alone in this world and who I was inside and how I acted was actually going to have an impact on the life that I made for myself. So, it, that is the time when I decided that I was going to change who I am. And I started on this big, huge spiritual growth. I was late. I was 30 years old before I realized there were other people in the world whose feelings mattered beyond my own. It took me a long time. It was a big, huge journey for me, and now I'm almost 50, and I'm still not where I want to be. But the one thing that I want you to take away from this story is that the only person who gets to decide who you are is you. If you don't like something about your life, change it. If you don't know how to be the person that you want to be, find somebody that you like how they act, like what they do, and copy them. Fake it till you make it. That might not be what you need to do in your life. Maybe you're struggling with something completely different. Maybe you're struggling with financial issues or um, confidence issues in yourself. You get to choose who you are and where you go in this life, only you. So do not let other people decide who you are. Don't let them um, classify you, lump you in a group. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not who you want to be. Just go for it, just go for it. You've only got one chance at this life and I don't care what has happened to you in your past, you are better than your past. You are hand-picked by God to live a specific life and follow your dreams. If something doesn't resonate, if something doesn't sit well inside of your heart, change it. Do it differently next time. Don't be afraid to say you're sorry. Don't be afraid to be real and raw and show the world who you actually are because the world only has one of you. I have the craziest feeling you're not. Okay, so if you're done, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I changed my parenting tactic here. If you're done, high five, sister. Good job being done ahead of every single other person. Woohoo! So now, since you're done ahead of everybody else, I want you to get the wheelbarrow and a pitchfork and pick up all these, these two piles of straw here. Well, I have to do grain. No, grain's not here. Dad's going to go get grain. We're out of grain. We don't have too many things, and do not put anything in a box. All right, so listen, everything looks good up there. Well, you don't have to take anything down from that. Just clean up this room and make sure none of your stuff, yeah, make sure your stuff is bridal wrapped, that's for sure. Mom, go make sure stuff is bridal wrapped. Oh yeah, but I'm not done my chores. Hand in hand, building castles out of sight, reaching for the ground.
I love the idea of a bucket for jump cups, but I hate the idea of taking the jump cups off the jumps. How do you feel about it? I hate the jump cups being taken off the jumps. Why? Because? Because it's like a lot of work to be dragging jump cups everywhere and putting them back in, isn't it? Yes, especially once you're done your ride and you're all tired and dead. Yeah, and then you have to take them off. But I did find a basket. Sent about these a long time ago. You guys maybe have seen them on Instagram and all around. Uh, they're super cool, it's supposed to work really good. So, let me show you. Okay, so the flies fly in here and eat or drink whatever. And then they fly up to go out and there's like a little hole right there. So they fly in here but then they get trapped since there's no opening down here. Yeah, so. And then I've seen them on Instagram where there's like flies up to here. Just dead flies. Yeah, that's around. disgusting. So then do you empty it or do you just get new ones? Because we have three. I think you empty it. Good, because. So the best thing they say to put in it is beer. Um, you guys might know that we are doing a big, huge giveaway on when we hit 100,000 subscribers. It's coming. Um, it'll be here before we know it, hopefully uh, by the end of the summer. And we are picking out all the things that we want to put in our giveaway. Uh, some of you guys recently saw that a company called Tough One um, sent us a box full of amazing stuff, like really cool stuff. And um, they offered to contribute to our giveaway. So. I don't um, know what exactly I should ask them to contribute. They can, we can, they can give us like some stuff, some small stuff, or they can give us like one big thing. I don't know what you guys want to do. So I, um, if you're interested, I would love for you to go to the website. Uh, this is it. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite product they have on their website is and what you would like to see as a giveaway. Like the one thing I love about this, uh, company tough one is that it is a one-stop shop they've got blankets they've got they have a whole section of miniature stuff and if you guys have a miniature then you know that there are a lot of places that don't it's hard to find miniature stuff but they have a lot of stuff basically they have saddles every single thing that you could ask for uh the girls and i spend a lot of time on their website trying to figure out what we want to buy because we love this do you guys remember when danny the horse girl was here and she bought us this stock tank secret and you put it in your stock tank so that it doesn't get uh mildew i gotta remember to put that in today because it's getting summery i hate it when you guys say you have to come and see this <sighs> is it a bite or a kick it doesn't hurt him. Is it a bite? Hopefully, it like a, a bug bite. Reaction. Oh, it actually looks way worse than it is because it's literally, it's literally empty here. Like there's nothing there. It's like an allergic reaction. Yeah. One thing that you guys might not see in our daily vlogs is the chaos. The chaos. It's not easy. <laughs> All right, just leave it on him then. Leave it on him and don't walk in front of him. So, yeah, there's a lot of chaos that comes with A, having a vlogging channel, and B, having a farm, and C, having horses. A lot of drama. So, I often start a video and then end it before I even get it started because it just gets crazy. Um, but yeah, so right now, we are going to set up our outdoor arena. It's supposed to be warm this week. The farmers have declared it summer. Got the feeling from the start. You might be the guy who break my heart. Hello. Hello. Even though I took a risk, it is worth the while for just one kiss. I know. I just know it. Caught up in the moment.
Got a little, I'm gonna go get an umbrella and put it down here. And then our arena. So I'm gonna to totally sit here in style and watch my kids ride. I'm gonna be like laying on this little lounge. The guy came today and told us all the stuff. Like there's so much stuff. I can't wait to tell you all the stuff. Like the plans that we have for this little farm. Like things are different than what we even thought we were gonna do because, well, I'll be keeping you guys updated. But yeah, I'm excited. You guys are gonna see a whole different big changes over this property in the next year, like this whole summer. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.